Hello and welcome. Today's lesson is a beginner's guide to Cartoon Animator 5. We'll even make our own movie. Let's get started. So I thought I'd take a moment here to show you the lessons that we've been working on. This would be lesson one where we pretty much learned how to move a character across the stage. And as we moved on through lesson five and six, we learned how to change the color of our character's clothing and uh, make those types of changes. As we got further on, we even got into how to create our own characters uh, from using an existing character. And then here we started really playing with the scenes. We create our own clothing. Oh, hey, thanks, Tom. This dress is just excellent. <laughs> and as we keep working our way up to lesson 30, we just keep advancing our skills. You can try Cartoon Animator 5 for free for 30 days. It comes loaded with lots of characters and scenes and props so that you can get started right away. Even this beach scene behind me comes included with Cartoon Animator 5. Be sure to check the links in the description and start your free trial today. What will you create? Okay, so we're here at Reillusion.com and you're certainly welcome to click the links in the description if you'd like. Uh, it helps our channel. And uh, otherwise, just head on over there. You can get your free 30-day uh, trial there. And you're going to want to go ahead and uh, head on over to Krita next. And that's uh, krita.org. And so you'll see the address up here in the screen. And you're going to want to download that as well. And once you have that, we'll go ahead and hook the two of those together in Cartoon Animator 5. But once you've opened up your Cartoon Animator 5, you can come into the Edit Preferences. And there's not a lot you need to do here, but you do want to make the interface uh, dark, like I have it here, and a lot be, be a lot more comfortable to work with. And by default, I believe it comes in as light. And then um, I had the scene undo at 30 for quite a while, but it uses more memory, so. Um, I'm back to 20 as I understand the program better. I don't go back as much. So under selected image, this is where you're going to want to put in your image editor. And you've downloaded the Krita program now. So this is where you're going to marry it to Cartoon Animator. And so under image editor, you're going to look in your own program files for slash Krita x64 bin and then it's slash krita exe and that's what you're looking for when you uh, go to find the program file for krita you just click the browse button and there it is should have done that in the first place so there's the windows program file krita x64 Inside the bin, there's the Krita application program. Okay, if I click that, you'll see that it qualifies as an exe file, so it would just be adding it again if I clicked open. So that's all you do to add that, and then you're married to it. Um, for the vector, I put the same image in, but it doesn't work because it's it, I was just experimenting to see if it might, but these are the four programs that you can use as a vector program. But as you can see, I'm still able to do vector drawings and things like that in Krita. Um, just can't export an actual vector, I don't believe. I might be wrong, but you can export PNG images, so Photoshop uh, compatible images can come out of your write uh, a program and then these are the also the other programs that people use for their image software Adobe Affinity 
a couple different ones there. One's the more paid for version and the other one's kind of a low budget one or free. Um, and Clip Studio Paint, which I haven't used before. So, okay, that's, that's how you uh, put that in there. And then I have it launch uh, for a transparent PNG. And you can see that you can do different things with that. Okay, so there's your settings for preferences, and you'd want to set that up right away. So that you just go ahead and get working with Cartoon Animator. And then pretty much you'll come into content, and you'll, you'll have probably nothing in your custom folder since you're starting brand new. And you'll find everything that comes with it for free that's, that comes with it. It'll be in these files here, and there's a lot of stuff. Um, some of the stuff you might see on my side I may have paid for. Um, I have bought quite a few actors in that through Real Illusion. So these are like the Campus Hero uh, actors here. Okay, so that would be it. This would be one of the free characters Johnny is. And uh, you could throw them on the scene. And let's see if we can come up here. Pretty sure this comes with it, with a cartoon animator, because I didn't purchase it or anything. And we'll throw the scene in. Okay. Come up here on motions and click 2D. These little shortcuts save you a little time, and then you can get down into the human folder, mail, and then from here he's a sidewalking character. And so there we go. Just have him make an idle breath. Whoop. First, you gotta select who you want to make do the acting. Cool. Makes an idle breath. Do that a couple times even. And then let's make him walk. Let's throw in a start. Uh, one of the long and then one of the end E. And then that makes a full walk cycle start to end. And then let's just go in here. And here's Johnny's clip, here's his motion, here's his walking right here. These are the three walking clips we did. If we wanted him to start moving forward right here, we could go ahead and just set a keyframe. And then we could just move to the end of the walk cycle path. Okay, so see how he started right there? And I didn't mean to really have him do it quite like that. I'll go in here on his transform key. And we'll move that motion to where he first starts to walk. Let's make that a little larger so we can see it. Takes a couple idle breaths and then he starts to walk right here. There we go. Let's just watch him take one breath. Yeah, he might have stopped a little. Yeah, he still slid just a little, so let's make him stop his motion. There we go. All right, maybe still slides just a titty tad. Let's see. I think that stopped it. All right, let's look at this now. Here's our little movie. What'd that take? 
two minutes, three minutes. Let's set the stop. So this little red line is going to come to right here when I do that, or right here, both places, because it's all the same. All right, when I move this over, you can see that it went right there. And we're already got it at the beginning. And so now when I hit F12, I'm able to watch the movie. And you may jump back here for a second. But... Okay. So let's just go ahead and take one of these idle breaths and go Control C and just pop it right here in the timeline. Control V and now I put my, I clicked into the timeline as well and that I think is the difference there. All right, so now we put an idle breath at the end and let's just grab the stop and move it to the end. That's good. We've done that much, and then if we wanted to make uh, Johnny talk or anything like that. So make sure you click on Johnny, and then when you say create script, you can go ahead and record a voice. So let's see here. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Okay, and then let's um, go in here to the face puppet, but first go back to the first frame of zero. Hit the face puppet. Or record. Hey, everybody. Go. Okay. He goes ahead and makes a couple little mutter sounds. I'm gonna leave hey, it, everybody. but that was an accident. Go. I can just cut the cut that out by clicking break. So I could go right here and highlight the clip and right click and click break. And then once I delete this clip, he'll he'll not say anything till right here. So let's go ahead and save this project and we'll go Johnny 1. Okay, now he's in the system and we have a program file for him. So when you pull it up, he'll automatically be in here. You could continue working on it. So let's say you wanted to render this movie just in case it's not playing back really good to you on our previews. We'll go up here to MP4. And we'll go ahead and render this out as a 1080p movie. And we're going to do all 282 frames here. And let's just hit export. And we'll go Johnny 1. And off it goes. Okay, and so um, we've done now a movie. Everything was included with the cartoon animator. So um, like I said, there's lots of assets in here for you to work with and get practicing and using stuff before you uh, might even think about uh, investing. And then there's lots of uh, really good things that you can get uh, through the marketplace, the Real Illusion marketplace. So they also have lots of uh, things for you to download. Okay, this is almost done rendering, and here we'll have our first movie. Just that easy. Hey everybody, how's it going? <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody. Come on back and start your animation journey.